the kingdom concept that we are interdependent and not independent. And pastors possess giftings to see what they need in others. See, one of the things about purpose is, uh, and we're going to get into it when we get into our gifts, your gifts are there and you have a purpose to make someone else life better, to support, encourage, and promote someone else into greatness. You, you're going to see this. It's, it's not for a selfish game. So because my assistant pastor is in purpose, there was no problem, and know the voice of her spirit and voice of the Holy Spirit. She didn't have to go research and study them. Just type them up, put them on the PowerPoint, and send them to them. Didn't, didn't even know what I was teaching. When you know your purpose and know who you are, life get easier. What you've been called to do is not a struggle. You just do it. You get it just like that. Now, bro, that's, I, I was intending to let you know about that then. And I'm going I'm to share some more on that after we get through teaching. That you are necessary. Come on, point to yourself and say, I am necessary. Yes, I am. I can care less what those people are saying, and you can fill in the blank however you want to do it. <laughs> I am necessary. Somebody is waiting on you. Someone need what you got. 